Hello everyone, my name is Felicia. Welcome to my Real People Camp. So, um, today we're going to add the Cisco UDS record. That's for Java to log in. So, you will see the C lab, and part is 10, weight is 10, port is 8443. And it's pointed to the CUCM A, the C lab will copy it. This is the record, Cisco um, CUP. That's for all the Java, right? All the Java, so you don't need to worry about it. You see I have already a record, so let's log on to a call manager. And now, we're going to do some initialing uh, parameter changes, because it's bad, best to fit a, um, a environment. So we'll go to uh, the enterprise, uh, where is it, uh, enterprise parameters. Let's first change the cluster ID, I'll rename it US cluster. Okay, let's put on a search. What I find is auto registration. Okay, that make it true. Also make it a BRF for call true. And we we'll do advertise G722 Kodak. That's enabled by default. That's a good thing. Next, we'll put UI lookup policy. We'll make it case insensitive. Okay. Okay, next we will enable the dependent record. So that's easy for the search. All the configs related. And also the auto select the end of any partition. Let's make it true. Okay, next we CDR file type intro. We'll make it 10. Okay. Okay, let's do enable dependency records. Let's make it true also. Also, organization top level domain. I will make it clab.com. That's what domain. Okay. The fully qualified domain name. Let's use them. Mm. Should be US CM. Okay, I see. So you make cucm-a.clab.com and put in commerce for all the core processing nodes. For example, cucm-b.clab.com. That would be an add core processing node. In this case, I only have one. Okay, let's save it. So now, so next we'll go make some changes to the service parameters. Choose a call manager. Service will be Cisco call manager. The first thing, okay, let's go. First thing I'm gonna make change is the apply transformation. I can search it on remote. T, okay, let's make T302 timer. 
I'll make it 5 seconds instead of 15 seconds. Also, okay, click OK. Yep. And uh, automate it, turn it, pull the routing area. Yep, I'll make it true. So that's when you don't have that width. The call can go to the other call route. So CD and next to CD call diagnostic enabled two. So G seven twenty two. Kodak enabled. Okay, that's enabled by default. So for all of the that's what we want to keep it here. Uh, no, no, let's keep it as a recording, except for recording device. Next. Next thing we're going to change is CDR enabled flag. That's good. True. Also, the CDR lock calls with a zero duration flag can make it true. Digit analysis will make just 